cocktails and it's really our mariachi band which is our, part of our entertainment here in uh, Andorritos. So today we want to give you an update on our 2014 expansion in City Walk. First of all, we started the expansion not too long ago with Red Oven Pizza Bakery and this is our second opening which is Antonitos Authentic Mexican. We also have coming up very soon Cowfish, that's a sushi and burger bar, Evil, our Italian kitchen, uh, Kraft, our sandwich shop, and then we are expanding with Coastal and the Starbucks uh, business down here. So we want to welcome you to our city walk and certainly welcome you to Antojitos Authentic Mexican. To my right is our head culinarian, Chef Steve Jason, who today is going to talk to you about our inspiration and our celebration behind cuisine to uh, I'm doing it. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I see many, many familiar faces, so uh, welcome back. For those of you who have not been here before, welcome. Uh, we are just really, really excited about Anihito. Uh, opened uh, last Wednesday very softly and quietly, and now uh, about ready to uh, get it going real full blast here. Uh, really great stuff we're doing here. Uh, we have both two kitchens. We have this uh, this kitchen right behind me, and then upstairs we have a second kitchen, and we have two different menus. Uh, downstairs we feature more of a casual Mexican street fair type of menu, with uh, dishes ranging from enchiladas to the large type burrito to a number of different type of tacos, and a lot of other little interesting things along the way. Upstairs, a little bit more of a uh, how do I want to say, a little bit more of an eclectic, uh, a little bit more fine dining type of a menu that you might find in Mexico, Mexico City, something like that. With some uh, nice dishes up there, a beautiful cut of carne asada steak, and uh, some great cooking equipment to make it all as authentic as we thought we could to deliver some great flavors, some new flavors, and some very creative uh, dishes for everybody to try. So, uh, you know, I'm excited about it. Um, you know, this was the Latin Quarter, it was always a great place too, but uh, at Nikitos, this is a very exciting, uh, really uh, great, great concept. I think we've come up and I think you'll really like it when you get to sample some of the food in a little bit. So, uh, thank you all for joining us today, and uh, we'll answer any questions we can along the way. Okay? All right. We said with Red Oven Pizza Bakery that uh, we really are representing our continuum of growth with Universal. We had Potter, Transformers, and lately Simpsons, Red Oven Pizza here in City Walk, and now Antojitos. Let me tell you a little bit about Antojitos. Antojitos is, uh, as you approach a building, it's a mission style building, which we have painted with vibrant colors. The outside, think of it as Mexico City, so you're outdoors, it's vibrant, it's fun. You have your specialty margaritas of tequila, and you're really enjoying the outdoor lifestyle. As you enter inside and you come into the lower level of Antojitos, it's more like a market, uh, like the city market. And here we celebrate from the dancers to the luchadors all the way to the graffiti and the art. So it's the old and tradition with the new meet together. The one thing that stays constant is our quest and our belief and the authenticity of this business. So you're going to see that between both floors, how we maintain the authenticity of the food, but we really want this to be fun and festive, regardless where you eat it. Some of the components that I think are kind of fun and whimsical, we look for others. You see the graffiti, and most of these you'll see there's a picture or a char character up there. As you head over to the bathrooms, you'll see some dolls. And so, you know, many people say, where did you get that inspiration from? And, uh, that there's a canal of Chirico, and here in Mexico City, these dolls actually hang out in trees. And so when we saw them, we thought, how do we do that? We can't obviously put trees inside of a building, but we can give it a, an expression or a celebration uh, for the artwork. As you look around, the integrated between the middle, the, the woods, the cantina, the chicken wire we're holding up the tequila, are really expressions of our, what we want you to have. As you go upstairs, the chef said, it's a little bit more refined. It's just a little bit more polished. It's a different feeling because the space is a little differently, but the food is still up there. And it's also 
think of it as Mama's kitchen. Uh, many of the photographs up there, I'm happy to say, in my last trip to Mexico, I took. And, and you look, and we're celebrating uh, Mexican cuisine, we're celebrating the Mexican art, we're celebrating all things that our guests today are experiencing in one way. And Mexican cuisine is one of those uh, foods that I think are growing by our guests. So, uh, let me turn it over to Meredith. <laughs> thank you, Medessa. Thank you, Chef. Uh, we're now going to open up the group to some Q and A. Um, does anybody have any questions for Chef Medessa? Uh -uh. Tell us about the stage. So, are you planning on having live music, and how? Great question. Well, you saw the mariachi band outside. First of all, I don't know if you noticed, but they're wearing your traditional mariachi band. I think it's consistent with the rest of the building. A little bit of. Um, new, new bow and, and traditional the mariachi band will and many times start performing there and travel to the dining room then go outside walk outside and play go upstairs they really we want this entertainment part of the stage to come alive through the gas and through the transcending so the stage is i think the starting point for many of our talent. is that the only music that you're planning on having my music? Yeah, yes. Like yes. We also have mass paintings. As you go upstairs, and don't forget to take one home with you, we have mass paintings that are painting these beautiful masks that we also give away to our guests. And that's another part of our entertainment. Yeah, can you talk a little bit about the challenge of authenticity? And especially for kind of home-style dishes, everyone's got their own idea of what's authentic. Uh, I, I ate here earlier and posted some pictures of the fantastic pozzoli I had, and had some of my friends who are Mexicano say, that doesn't look like pozzoli the way I know pozzoli. So how do you refine down what's the authentic version? Well, I'll give you my small piece, but I'll pass it on to the chef. But we're really looking for the ingredients that are what the earth gives us to make the dishes with it, such as the peppers and the flavors and, and, and things of that nature, and then we incorporate it into the dish. So, Chef? Well, authentic, uh, you know, that's, that's a, in some ways a big word, because, uh, you know, uh, you go to maybe uh, 25 different mom's houses and give them all the same recipe, and they're all going to make it a little different, and in their mind, it's, it's, that's mom's authentic creation. But, you know, what we did here is, you know, we brought in ingredients from Mexico, uh, from south of the border, let's say, uh, to create the dishes. And whether it's ancho chilies or it's guajillo chilies or it's, you know, or whatever ingredient it is, uh, we try to use the ingredients that are going to make the dishes. Uh, we do a skeet day. A skeet day is a kind of a Mexican street food. You know, you can have it in one place where it's served on the top. It's corn, by the way. You can have it on the top, it's rolled in a little something. Well, we took that version and we took it off the top and we put it into uh, a really neat little casserole dish and we serve it like that with some nice little tortillas on the side so you can kind of share it with your friend and, and have a nice little meal out of it, so to speak. Uh, but it's all the ingredients that are supposed to be in it and skeet that along. And so, you know, and authentic is, you know, again, yeah, we're using the ingredients that are coming from that part of the world and we're trying to make it to the best of our ability in a nice, unique way that's creative and that's, uh, that's good, that tastes great, and that a person's going to walk away and say, hey, I, have, I had a one for me. That's really what we're doing. Thank you. And did you alter any of the recipes of the palette? Because I know Universal draws really an international audience. So um, were there any alterations to appeal to that? Or do you think that this will just kind of appeal anyway, you know, we can stay with that authenticity? Well, obviously, there's a, so many people that come to visit us. And they come from all over the world. Uh, you know, they come from New York City. They come from Brazil. And they come from Mexico. So we have to think about the palette as a whole. Uh, and try to create what we think are dishes that are going to meet all those palates. And that the, the, that the people are going to walk away with, again, like I said, say I had a great meal. So you have to find that, that kind of middle of the road spot where you're pushing it as far as you can with authenticity, let's say, and creativity, but at the same time creating a dish that's recognizable to a person that they're going to recognize when they look at the menu, come in to try, and then recognize when they eat it and understand the flavor. Any additional questions? Thank you. 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 Thank you.
should go first. I mean, what are some of our favorite dishes here? Oh my goodness, that's a wide open question. I mean, it wouldn't be on a menu if I didn't like it. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a lot of great dishes. And you know, I mean, yes, we serve a number of tacos. We serve enchiladas and a, and a variety of those. We do some combination plates. I think we made a great effort to offer some vegetarian alternative mixed within that. So you can come in here and have an appropriate meal if you're a, if you're a vegetarian or you're on a restricted diet. I think we really, really looked hard at that so you can get a beautiful mushroom enchilada or, or quesadilla or that type of thing too. Uh, so there are quesadillas, there's nachos, there's tacos, there's enchiladas, there's burritos. But at the same time, the street fair, uh, every, and, and you know, everything from the, all of the neat drinks that we created, created including getting traditional bochata and tamarillo, the, you know, the, the, fres the, 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 uh, the frescas, those cold drinks. Uh, you know, we, we did it with the, with the dishes here uh, and just tried to make a variety of things that we think would satisfy everybody. Uh, what do I like? I, I like them all. I mean, I mean our queso fondito with fresh chorizo ground up and baked again in it. You know, upstairs our plenty and sada bravo, it's our ribeye steak. Well, we got some really neat ovens that we cook with upstairs, and you're all going to get an opportunity to go upstairs and look for the, we'll show you those ovens, and you'll get to taste some of that carne asada. We actually uh, make a paste with uh, uh, coffee beans and grind that up, and we put that all over the steak and marinate it, and, we, and then we cook them, and then we, uh, we serve it like that. I think you'll get to try it if you want. Uh, if you're a meat eater, you'll probably love it. Uh, and then we've got some other neat things like our little tamale fritters here, uh, making kind of a uh, the rendition of a tamale, but instead of wrapping it in the, uh, the skin and cooking it like that, we've actually shaped it into a little ball, coated it with a coating, and we fry it. And we serve it almost like a like a fritter, and we dip it. It's got a nice uh, a, a nice uh, guajillo uh, kind of aioli, like a guajillo mayonnaise that you dip it in for to share. Again, a nice sharing item. There's a lot of neat items to share here, and just a lot of great flavors. I, I don't, you know, on mole, uh, about 28 different ingredients in it. So really good stuff. So well, I'm gonna tell you. I get excited. I get excited. I'm gonna tell you mine. <laughs> mine this week. I say this week because I'm with him. We we celebrate this cuisine all the time. I mean, think about Mexican food is is a is a craveable cuisine. For me this week. I would start out with a handsome torch, which is a torch community uh, you know, drink. Uh, and then I would probably have skeetas. I love the skeetas. I mean, they're, they're unbelievable. If you've never had them, please try them here, because they're hard to die for. Then I go to carnitas, and I like the serrano pepper that the chefs do. They roast them. On a 1 to 10, it's about an 8 of them. You can't have a lot, but you have enough to feel it. And then I finish out, you know, all the desserts. That's what I'm on this week. Uh, but every week is just slightly different. We, we encourage you to share our passion to try many things when you come back. This is all very good. Yeah. This, uh, my, my question is, is, you know, what do you want the guests to take away to be at the end of each meal? Take away? Yeah. I, 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 you boy. I, 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 I want them to take away everything. I want them to take away I wanted to, if they came to the theme park and went to Potter, or went to Transformers, and got into family vacation, I wanted to finish out here with a celebration of their day and their vacation. Great food, great business service, and an environment is fun. You know, we're, we're selling to feel like top. That's fun to me. And so we wanted them to come across as getting one of the food and the service. And when they leave, it was a whole experience. If you happen to be a local, we want to win your hearts and minds. Because we know you're going to come here for Halloween Power Nights and the summer comes to the concert series. And we too want you to make this a place where you can have celebratory dining or at least a great expression. So I, personally, I want to know. Well, I just, you know, I, I want the guests to take away that they had a great experience, that they really enjoyed the food we made and that they had a lot of fun. I mean, you know, you go out to dinner and you just want to have fun. I mean, you know, you know Let's get out of here. I'm bored. Let's go out somewhere. You know, let's go to Anjahita. I heard that place was a lot of fun. I heard they had good food. So you know, come here and, and they get that and they leave. I think I think we've accomplished what we want to do. We want to give them, you know, good good you know, good quality food, you know, at a reasonable price. 
was. Uh, so they'll come back and enjoy it over and over and over again. And they walk away and they say, hey, I, uh, I really enjoyed myself there. I think that's what it's all about. Going out to eat is supposed to be fun. And, you know, and the, you know, the foodies out there, they're going to critique every little thing because that's what they do. And, so, and, uh, and that's what we try trying real hard to make sure we take care of them too. We really are. Uh, I'm a foodie, and it's uh, 44 years in the kitchen, you know, so, you know, uh, that's what I do. Uh, <laughs> we got to take care of everybody, you know. No, really, I mean, we want to just uh, have a great time, and a great experience, and a great meal. That's what we do. And I think Chef is right. This is not just a restaurant. It is a restaurant plus, right? The bar, both bars are very different. Both levels are very different. We put in the entertainment, the mariachi, not your typical mariachi. Your face mask painters, you don't see them everywhere. We want you to feel an extension of our great company. And that's fun. I mean, we are, if you think about the, the two parks, that's what the design for you. Come in and have fun and have a great experience. You know, to eat, it's just a Any additional questions? So it's like special like, events for Macrimonics. I think we're looking to expand how do we do that. There's many ways to do a single mile. So in our fledgling state, we're talking about how does Antonito celebrate many of the holidays we have. So the answer is yes. How? I'm not sure. Any additional questions? Let's start the fiesta, and we're so glad you could join us tonight. Thank you.